he does not have the money and then you have the money, would you date him? Yeah, I will date him. And, and you're the one that's having the money. Yeah, I will date him. If he really loves me, I will date him. Does, does he have to feel entitled to your money now? Because no. you're the one that's having the no, money. No, no. <laughs> no, no. No, it's my money. Yeah, it's your money. <laughs> it's my money. So which means he can also... Hello everyone, welcome to Anshente. I am Theo Chaka. I'll be the facilitator for this conversation that we're about to have. It's a very challenging thing. Today we are talking about money and relationship. This is the first episode of money and relationship. So we've bought two parties, a man and a lady, because we believe whenever it gets to relationship and money, these people always have different opinions. So the ladies in most occasions say that they are entitled to the money from the men or by the men and the men say we are not obliged to give you the money so this man will be supplying us with the reasons why they are not obliged and this beautiful queen here will be supplying us with the reasons why they are entitled to the money welcome to the show before we go anywhere how are you guys doing i'm doing well. i'm fine myself so let's get this ladies first why do you feel that you guys are entitled to the money from the men okay first of all just say that simply because we got needs and needs that need to be taken care of by the men. Mm -hmm. yeah uh like okay fine most people will be like okay fine if you're dating a guy you know he's not supposed to buy you cosmetic and do your hair and nails and all that and all that but definitely he needs to take care of all that just to make you feel beautiful with some time all right because definitely we like to look beautiful and to show that we are well taken care of okay true that uh we, we hear that so why do you feel that as men uh we're not obliged to give the money yeah, I guess being obliged is not like, uh, uh, when you're saying you're not obliged, it's not like you're not going to do it. Mm. You choose when to do it. Mm. So you can do it out of generosity mm. when you feel like doing it. Not that you must be pushed or you must be coerced to mm. do it. Mm. So in other words, if I feel like I'm broke or I don't have money, I don't, mm. I, I, it's not a must that I should give her money. Mm. What is she doing with her money? Because I feel like women like to behave like they are subhuman mm. and i feel like this thing of entitlement encourage things like men treat them like object you know what i mean mm. so for a mere fact that i'm giving you money i feel entitled to control you i feel mm. entitled that i can do anything just control mm. you like an object because you're not using your mind and what i don't uh, understand about women is mm. that at, at high school they outdo us we in, with intellect when it comes to many subjects you know with math with physics but when it comes to career it looks like the legal be behind so mm -hmm. i don't understand you have to go to work and and, and work for yourself as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. yeah so as much as they feel entitled mm -hmm. i feel like it should be a mutual thing mm -hmm. when i have our uh, financial needs mm -hmm. should, she should meet me halfway mm -hmm. and when she has financial needs i must do the same as well now let, let's get into this scenario are you as women entitled to the money because you don't have money or is it just a thing of because it's my man you need to provide why are you entitled it's i understand you spoke about your needs and at, at one point i said if she's working then she can buy herself things mm -hmm. but why, why what's the main reason behind that it's just the thing that we all think that men should do okay it's for them to make the relationship work they need to provide for that relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but can we say it's a societal pressure though because i feel like it's a societal pressure right now most people think it's a pressure but definitely it's not pressure you do it to someone who always values you mm -hmm. you can't simply do it to anybody mm -hmm. but definitely it should be someone who knows your needs also he spoke about how you need to understand that sometimes he doesn't have money do you as women feel and understand that he does not have the money and do you accept or continue being with him if he does not have the money not really 
not really. No, so so why, why, why are you in the relationship? I want to understand in the first place, why do you dive into the relationship? What's the motive? What's the agenda? What what do you want to achieve when you dive into the relationship? It's just that we live in a world of a competition, bruh. Everybody want to see us, every, everybody want to see us glowing. So mm. we can't simply search for something that we see, simply know that it's not going to take us anywhere. No, okay. We're not glow. Yeah. So you can do that at, at the expense of love. Yeah, we can do it. If we can. We can. You can do that. Yeah. So that's what I don't understand. So how do you feel about her sentiments? Do you believe that now relationship is a transaction? Yeah, that's exactly what I believe. And uh, uh, there are candidates for that. Mm-hmm. There are girls who feel like I should dive into it for money. And there are guys who believe that they have power to lose them in mm. a way because they have that mindset mm. but there are guys who have good intentions and who believe that you know what money is not going to be a priority mm. i i mean need for love it's not like i'm withdrawing myself from giving her money but i'm saying if i withdraw myself how is she going to react is mm. she st- still going to stick around or mm. she's going to run away mm. so that's where i'm going to see her but i hear touch. both of your sentiments now let's answer this can a relationship work without money yeah it can it can yeah so which means then the, your answer s- cancels the statement that you are entitled to the money because if it can work without the money it means you you cannot really rely on the money and be entitled to the money you cannot really rely on the money it's just that we live in this generation it's so different mm. all we want is just money is women okay yes so so do you feel pressure to have the money as the men coming into a relationship not really because i th- i think i know what i want mm. so i don't believe that uh, relationship depends solely on money mm. to make it but we we must have the money that mm. is not to say i must relax and be lazy and mm. expect mm. my women not to uh, you know sometimes ask me for something mm. not because she's entitled but because she's in need mm. and and when i say i don't have she must understand so mm. for me i don't feel pressured at what at all okay i feel like there are women who understand that if you don't have money you can still make it mm. because you, you might not have money today and have money tomorrow mm. yeah that is something that it's very it's a very good point but here's my thing now to you babes uh if he does not have the money and then you have the money would you date him yeah i will date him and you the one that's having the money yeah i will date him if he really loves me i will date him does does he have to feel entitled to your money now because no. you're the one that's having no money. no <laughs> no 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 it's my money mm, it's your money <laughs> it's my money so which means he can also be it's my money <laughs> no he can't do that so he why can't. is that when you oh. you the one who's good who who's well standing with money I I must not feel entitled because I, I'm a man. Yeah, because you, you're fair. the one who's supposed to provide here, yeah. not me. So if I have uh, financial needs, don't you think there will be a necessity to meet me halfway? Okay, I I can meet you halfway, but you must definitely show, make sure, make sure that you take care of me. Mm. That's the most important thing in the relationship that the man provides. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, that that that's the that's the thing, right? That's men need to provide and so on we hear that we see that we read about that wherever we go now my question is now do you guys believe in 50/50 in a relationship i'm going in this thing giving 50% of what i have and she's coming into it giving 50% of what she has not that 50/50 is her giving a thou and then you giving a thou do you guys believe in the 50/50 rule Yes, we do. Believe. Coming to relationship. Yeah, we do. Okay. We do, yeah. So you want to give 50. Yeah. And I'm then he gives 50. That. Yes, I'm fine with that. Do you agree with that? So, well, I think in reality most women like to say they believe in 50-50, but mm-hmm. in reality they don't really, do it. Yeah, they're not really for that. Okay, let's let's get this right. Let's get these facts straight, right? It's a, it's a, it's a wrapping of the show question. Mm-hmm. I want to know what does 50-50 mean? for a man and what does 50/50 mean for a girl because in the longest uh, for the longest time rather we've seen that when people say 50/50 the other one's 50 is money the other one's 50 is other things what does 50/50 mean for a woman and what does 50/50 mean for a man yeah you should. Oh, for me 50/50 i think uh, 
it means it literally the way you say it mm. so if i must go out and 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 do mm. and work my women must go out and work you mm. know what i mean if i must cook she must cook okay. so there is no gender rule kind of chores mm -hmm. you know we all do the chores so 50 50 in Take everything everything yeah. everything do you, do you share the same sentiments you yeah, I, sh i share the same sentiment but the, the problem is that i'm going to repeat myself on this one is that most people most women mm. particularly they say they believe in 50 50 what we said to be agreed on mm. uh, but they don't they don't actually do that you know if you can give her uh you know a fortune to dig mm -hmm. she's not gonna do that the only thing about women is that they believe in a girlfriend allowance oh oh yeah oh. even we can meet 50 50 but it, it certainly there should be a girlfriend allowance. that's a very good topic for another day so yeah. until we meet again this has been one shanta this is episode number one of money and relationship do make sure that you catch episode number two if you enjoyed episode number one you can also drop a comment subscribe don't forget it's one shanta i am theo chaga follow me on my social media platforms i do create stuff radio and tv <laughs> thank you guys <laughs>